Hi, my name is Ashley, if you don't know that. Um, I'm a gestational carrier, uh, which means I'm currently carrying a baby that is no way biologically related to me. And this is my husband. Um, I get a lot of people that ask about his side of the story and kind of want to know where his thought process was for our journey and where he is now. Um, so I figured I'd just ask him some questions and let him speak on his own stuff. I also thought that maybe I'd get some intel on us and where we started off and where we are um, just from our own past history. So uh, I'll start asking questions and if you're cool to answer. Okie dokie. <laughs> what is your name? Luke. <laughs> Hi, I'm husband. <laughs> Next question. Where did we meet? Where was the first place we met? <laughs> High school in Florida. How? I didn't ask you this before. Where? <laughs> how did we meet? Ooh, uh, some weird third party dating app. No, it was not Tinder or anything. It was like Tinder, was... though. Let's get past that one. Uh, <laughs> next question. Um, when did we start dating? 2014. So February. People don't know that's about two years after high school. Yeah. Um, how long have we been married now? Four and a half years. Uh, how many kids do we have? Two. How old are they? One and a half and three and a half ish. Okay. So, do you want any more children with us? No. <laughs> Why don't you want any more kids? Because they're nuts. Yeah. That's that's basically the reason <laughs> that we both are. And they look like me. Yeah. They both. You actually yeah. done. Actually, let me put in a quick finished pause. Quick okay. little clip of the children. Bloop. If they're in there, hopefully I figured out how to edit that. If not, this is a weird little tidbit. Um, yeah, they both turn out very much looking like. <laughs> they both turn out looking like my husband quite a bit. Um, uh, yeah. So we have two little girls. After our second was born, I started really looking into surrogacy. I did look into it beforehand. Um, but I knew I wanted at least one more child. And then when we agreed to no longer have children, I started looking more into surrogacy. And then what was your first initial thought about me doing surrogacy when I mentioned the idea to you? Nope. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Um, so, all right, quick, uh, quick, brief, <laughs> quick, quick, brief history. <laughs> I don't know what accent that was. <clears throat> So, um, <laughs> okay. So my mom was a uh, registered nurse. Um, she was an RN. Just in case you didn't know what registered nurse was. <clears throat> this is one of our funniest things. <laughs> uh, so she was, she was actually the head nurse of labor and delivery floor, um, at a very major hospital in Florida. Uh, she was a big deal. She went to a lot of schooling and she talked a lot. She was very verbal about everything that happened at work. Um, so that put me in a position, uh, well, sorry, let's back up a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm very realist about everything. I don't imagine things. I don't uh, play make believe. I'm like, what's there is what's there. And I, that's how I am. I don't know if I <laughs> explained it. But uh, so my mom anyways gives me this perspective of the way labor and delivery and babies are. Um, Which is brutal, by the way. It's, you can only imagine what kind of story someone takes home. Everybody, you know, everybody's super excited about babies because babies are awesome and they smell funny and they're cute and they cry and they poop a lot. They do poop and they're lot. super crazy and uh, birth is beautiful and labor is beautiful and uh, pregnancy is beautiful and I... <laughs> I got the first hand of what goes on behind the scenes and how incredibly dangerous it is. So I, you know, it put me in a position where um, it was kind of hard to change my mind. It was really hard to change my mind on the whole thing. Okay, so we had started looking into it quite a while before I actually found an agency that I really loved. Um, and you were still kind of against it, but with my agency, you had to be on board for me to even do it. So yeah. what, what was the thing that kind of changed your complete no to okay that's kind of really where you were at at the time you were like well, okay we could do it my first initial thing that got me on board is you wouldn't leave me alone she, she just drilled it <laughs> oh my goodness man she drilled it and drilled it and wouldn't stop and then finally i just realized you know um kind of coming out of my um 
my dense little shell of nope, I decided, okay, let's open up a little bit, figure out what's going on, do some of my own research, and I was like, okay, it's dangerous, yes. Does she care? No. Does my opinion matter? No. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so, <laughs> anyways. I don't feel like I you got on. I, I said, you know, if you would have told me complete no, 100%, yeah. I feel like I had some budging room with you because you were open to learning more about it. So I said no for like five months. I don't know. Yeah, kidding. actually, I feel like it was like three, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, so I got on board. I was finally like, okay, you know what? But what changed me was she was so genuinely uh, yeah. just driven to do something like this. I was like, okay, fine. You know what? You want to do it that bad? Let's do it. Which so, is awesome for me. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted to get hopped on pregnant. board there. Um, do you like me pregnant? Yes. So what was the point where you were like 150% on board? Because I know where you are now is not where we started when you had given me the green light to go ahead and do this. So what was that point of, wow, this is amazing. I definitely think my wife should do this. Uh, my final thing that sentence down was um, the, the Skype call. Definitely a Skype call. Um, no, we talked for almost two hours. <laughs> I got on the phone. I didn't, I didn't expect to have so much fun on that phone call. But it yeah. was it was great. It was a lot of fun. I you meet these two guys. These guys are just genuinely cool people. I'm very um, first impression, hit or miss. Like I said, um, so I, I fell in love with these guys. <laughs> Say the word. <laughs> They're cool, okay? I'll let... <laughs> let that be known. I'll sit back and let, you know... It's okay, it's still going. Let it... Let, uh... Let it be known that you... Let her do her thing. Mm-hmm. These guys are awesome. So, if you don't know, in my agency, the way that we work, um, they match you with intended parents, and then you guys do a two-hour long Skype session if you're not in the same state. Um, and then if you like each other, you get the green light from both sides. We both get to be matched. So that's what the Skype call was about. It was the first time we got to meet our dads and really talk with them about the idea of me being their surrogate and where they were. Um, I think my favorite part of that Skype call was when one of the dads was playing with our youngest because we also introduced our children to them. And they were just, I don't, I mean, watching them two together also. So we also talk with them quite frequently. And every time we chat with them over video it's usually over a recording so they get to kind of be themselves compared to when you're doing a recording like a, a skype so i love watching the two of them interact i know yeah. you do too they just seem so loving and sweet and like good people and i think that's what solidified us and the decision to do it is just helping out two amazing dads build their family was yeah it it made everything like click and complete for him and I was already pretty on board and then meeting them it's kind of like I don't even know like the rainbow to my cake I guess I was already eating cake and I got a rainbow on top hey it's gonna fight to get you <laughs> <laughs> um to kind of put into play where my husband stands now that I like to notice was something that really should have had a nice mustache today yeah you fell in love with him didn't you <laughs> I was you like... might take him home huh oh wait you already offered so, him home <laughs> um, which I wish I could have had like a live reaction. So we chat over video and one of the gentlemen, you know, complimented my husband on his new mustache he's been growing and I, you should have seen his face. He was so pleased that somebody said how pretty it was and it's looking good. He was like, Wee! it was so funny. He's like, you look a very Italiano. I was like, huh? yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely, definitely was pleased with that. Definitely Irish. I'll take uh, it. <laughs> but we've um, we've been talking a lot with them, and we've really fallen in love with them, and we're excited to help them grow their family. Um, the whole idea with us, with growing the baby and having the benefit of me being pregnant, but then giving this beautiful family, you know, the opportunity to have a child is something that we're both so excited for that we actually offered up also. Well, we didn't offer it. It was his idea, and I agreed with it. Um, Luke came to me and he's like, hey, what do you think about offering up our spare bedroom when the intended dads are here for their baby? So I love the idea. Um, our girls are going to be totally excited. Um, but our, our biggest thing with that, the reason we really also want to do it is because the first few weeks of new parenthood sucks <laughs> in a 
loving way. In a very loving way. But we're excited. For the first like 24 hours and then it yeah. sucked. It's, it's going to be me. a doozy. I'm, it's, it's, no, okay. You were not I'm, mean that in the worst way possible. I'm not that dark and dense, okay? <laughs> you are dark it's, and dense. <laughs> it's great time. But it's tough, okay? So very tough. being in a hotel room thousands of miles away from home. Um, not having any help from family. No address. help from family. They're going to have to go... Do you know, paperwork, do things, all this stuff. stuff. And they're gonna be nervous. Hospital this. visits. We got a home. Mm -hmm. Okay, come to our house. I mean, we already pool. opened up the womb. It's... Why not open up a room? Right. <laughs> that should be it. How much that's worse what we can put on get? the can we put that on the door? <laughs> the <laughs> womb. <laughs> we opened up the womb. So oh, here's the room. No, when they get here, we open up the door. Yeah. Here's your womb. Here's your womb. <laughs> I don't think they'll get it. They're, oh. they're both. They probably are. If they see this part, they're like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we just really, <laughs> we love our dad so much now that we think of them as family. And we really want to welcome them and their child into the world and really help them kind of get their baby rocking and rolling if they need any help. And if not, then they have a room here and my little girls can see the little baby that mom carried her. We're excited. Yeah. We love our intended dads. Yeah. We definitely look forward to meeting their baby and meeting them when they come down to come get their baby. Um, I'm just person. excited to see these guys interact with their new kid. I think it's gonna just be so much love. We're gonna be grossed out by it. <laughs> I'm so stoked. so much love. I'm so stoked. We're gonna be like, you guys look like a Valentine's Day card. This by is the so way, beautiful. their baby is gonna be born around Valentine's Day. Oh jeez. There's gonna be so many hearts in that room. So many babies. That room's gonna look like it exploded from a Valentine's Day card. <laughs> I have an idea. But roses everywhere, except in the crib. But yeah. We just, we love the idea of our intended dads and who they are and who they presented themselves to be to us and just giving them this opportunity of a family. And I think that was something that made him be 100% on board. And I think that, I don't think there's any more else for us to say. If you have any questions for my husband or myself, please comment here on YouTube. Or if you really want to reach out to me, DM me on Instagram. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Um, I also have you know, a couple other social medias so that if you find me, it's usually just my full name. Um, I guess, do you have anything else to add? Subscribe? <laughs> Chainsaw. That's what you want to add? Have you never watched The Office? No. Never mind. Okay. Stop the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm top jump, not the dog.